What is up, guys? Welcome to episode 10, the final episode of Movies, Musicals, and Me. Ah, man, I'm, I'm sad to see it almost be done. Because when you think about it, this is really the only Halpert Evans that we get to see. Arguably the greatest actor in the history of Broadway. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He is very full of himself. Hilarious but a terrible person, but these episodes are so damn funny. I wonder if Starkid, do you guys know is Starkid, have they ever talked about doing more of these? Or are they just gonna let these 10 episodes lie? Like we did it, we did a great job, we love doing it, and now we're just gonna do more things? Um, if, or have they just not talked about it at all? Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know, because these are just a damn treat. Uh, but this is going to be a Home Alone parody for the last one. It's been a while since I've seen Home Alone. I've definitely seen it. I've seen it quite a few times. So I feel like I'm going to get most of what Mr. Evans is singing about. I'm really hoping that other people come in. Like, I'm hoping something happens to Halpert in this one to kind of give me closure on the overarching storyline of him just being a legend but nobody really likes him dylan hated him the critic is like who the hell is this guy somehow he gets work but he kills it so i want to see something happen with that i don't know what i know i'm being very vague i don't really know what i want um but i just want this to be an excellent kind of send-off maybe he gives courtney a bunch of money i still think courtney's gonna punch him in the face or something like that for being such an insufferable dick uh, but I guess we will see. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for, you know, watching this with me, going through this journey. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Hello, I'm Halpert Evans, and I've starred in more films and stage time. adaptations than anyone in the history of the theater. So come along with me on this journey of movies, musicals, musicals and me. <laughs> Hello and welcome <laughs> to a special holiday edition of Movies, Musicals, and Me, where I, Halpert Evans, take you on a tour of some of the best songs from my long and remarkable career in the theater. With me, as always, is my simply angelic accompanist, Courtney. Happy holidays, Courtney. Happy holidays, Halpert. Tell me, Courtney, what do you think about this time of year? What gives you that warm and fuzzy holiday feeling? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm, I guess I think about happy times with friends and loved ones. I think about the possibility of a brighter future, peace on earth, goodwill towards everyone, especially you. Aww. What do you think about, Halford? Courtney is such a it's good nice, dude. Courtney, I also think about me, and I think about the power of story, in fact. Why don't I tell you a little holiday tale right now? Imagine a boy, a young boy with stars in his eyes. Armed with nothing but a hope and a wish, he makes his way to the back of a line for a Broadway open call, a line that stretches from 30th Street to 31st Street. <laughs> Imagine they call this boy's name, and he bounds into the room and makes history. Well, guess what, Courtney? That boy you've been imagining me. The role, my Broadway debut. Ladies and gentlemen, as a special holiday treat, here is Halpert Evans reprising the role that made him an overnight sensation. Kevin McAllister from Home Alone, the musical. Oh my god. His first role. <laughs> no one's in the living room There's no one by the stairs The kitchen and the backyard too There's nobody there Mom? Dad? Linny and Buzz and Uncle Frank I'm alone 
least I'm home. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm home alone. Sweet, I wish it came true. It's amazing what the mind of an eight-year-old can do. No more putting up with Buzz and all the stupid things he does. No more rules, no more parents, cause I'm home alone. The house belongs to moi. <laughs> what was that thing that mom said? Oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't have to brush my teeth. No more vegetables to eat. No stupid chores, slamming doors, being bored. Not anymore, I'm gonna make this home my own. I'm home alone. Possibilities are endless. So many things to do. I can watch R-rated movies. I can go in Buzz's room. I'll eat Twinkies with whipped cream, of course. Shout dirty words till I go hoarse. Run around the house, jump on my bed, slide down the stairs. On a sled, I'm home alone. I'm sliding down the stairs. Nobody's here to see it, so I guess nobody cares. Eating pizza and popcorn, picking up my brother's porn. Gross, booby trapping the door. I'm home alone, the leader of the land. I guess I should start shaving, cause I'm pretty much a man. This is what it must feel like <laughs> to no longer be a tyke. Not a little bro, baby doe, embryo. Hell no, I'm big and strong and smart and brave. See, look, I'm using aftershave. Because today I'm home. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, Courtney, I haven't done that one in a long time. You know, it really was a Christmas miracle that I got that role. You were iconic. You know, I sang that song for my fifth grade talent show. <laughs> Very cool. You know, I was at the cast party for Home Alone the Musical, and I feel a little tap on my shoulder, and oh I look around, God. and who is it but Macaulay Culkin. You were better on he stage. Looks at me <laughs> and he says to me, Halbert. You were better on stage than I was in the film. Happy holidays, folks. Aww. The funny thing about seeing Halpert in Home Alone is I had no idea how old this man was, or even was he a man? Was he a man, a boy? I honestly couldn't tell, and I met him in the dressing room backstage. Uh, I think it was it was Home Alone. I remember seeing him, and honestly, I wept all night. <laughs> I uh, I remember seeing the movie with the Culkin kid. I just said, I when I watched that movie, I said, kill him. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. was actually a little tyke when I found him. It was a one-man show. It was a one-boy show, I guess, at that point. I was still scrimping and saving, so I actually second-acted the whole thing. Um, for those of you who don't know this, just when, it's when you sneak into the second act. So you go in with everyone from um, intermission, and you just hope that there's a seat there. And in my case, there wasn't. How good. Well, he's the light that Broadway needed. Hal had no technique, he had no training, but, you know, the people loved him. I got one kid who wrote a check for $10,000 just to hear him sing a vowel for two minutes straight. This is a great show. You get, have you guys seen this show? It's still on Broadway. Go check it out, man. Tickets are like 900 bucks, but I've seen it 10 times. He's a very busy man. I'm very busy. We haven't found the right project. But you know, that was such a special thing that I don't want to, I want to make sure if we do work together again that it's just as good. And that's going to be hard. Right, mm -hmm. probably for Fifty Shades Darker. Yeah, well, that, the offer's out. That's coming up? Yes. Oh, sh I shouldn't have told you that. Yeah, don't tell anyone. I've been doing this for so many years. It's easy to forget why you've started. But Helpert helps me remember. <laughs> Thank you, Helpert Evans. Thank you. Okay, I just got this in the mail. 
I haven't read it yet. Merry Christmas, Courtney. Now no one can say I never gave you anything. Hashtag pay Courtney. I'm very gracious. Oh, 45 It's bucks. $45. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, man. This series just had everything. I love it so much. Is there more? Nope, it's over. That... <laughs> <laughs> bring all the side people back in i'm so happy that they did that um fucking joey yeah fucking Culkin kid fuck kill him yeah who cares god <laughs> joey richter man he he's got like a direct line right to my fucking funny bone <laughs> uh let's go ahead and get big all right i'm just gonna say it Courtney deserved better. <laughs> Courtney deserved more than $45. He was always so nice, so kind, just a good, good-hearted individual. And Halpert was just a not a great dude. <laughs> um I would have loved to have seen a Halpert, like, without a mustache, like, kid Halpert. Although, I can't even imagine that in my mind. I feel like even Halpert, as a child, still had a thick, dead caterpillar on your lip mustache. That's just something that you always have. <laughs> um, I The one thing that I was hoping for in this that I didn't get was um, traps. Like, when I first saw that it was Home Alone, I'm like, all right, we're going to get maybe some booby traps or something fun like that. But, you know, it, it, it makes sense that there wasn't. You know, this is, uh, if you watch, it's very, very basic performances. Not, you know, just Halpert, you know, he doesn't really want to share the stage with anybody. And, yeah, just lighting and then Courtney just being amazing on the piano. Just so good so so good has clark done any like solo stuff like does he have his own channel where he writes his own music or anything like that because he is so talented i would i would check that out in a heartbeat i would love to see more of him the song was upbeat the song was adorable it really like in plot sense of the home alone movie it's really when everything is coming up roses for kevin like nobody's breaking in he doesn't have to almost murder people or anything like that he's still he's happy he's in the honeymoon phase he's in the yeah home alone house all to myself let's go get up to nefarious deeds which is exactly what he does um but yeah i i thought it was it was it was a very fun number uh not one of my not one of my top three. I think my top three is pretty set in stone now, now that I've seen them all. But yeah, I don't know if it was enough to get it into my top three, per se. Uh, I think that's pretty much set in stone now that I've seen them all. Uh, Box of Chocolates was my favorite. Second favorite was probably The Social Network. It was, so, God, that was so much fun. And then Finding Sarah Connor as, or Find Sarah Connor as number three. But honestly, two and three are so close. They're damn near interchangeable. They were amazing. They were both so good. Uh, now that we're all done, though, guys, please let me know your, like, final list of what your most favorite were. You know, please pop them down in the comments. I would love to take a look at it, see if we're pretty similar or where we kind of veer off and different um, or differentiate there in our opinions. Um, the end, though. The end of this one was great, seeing all of the side characters coming back, which at a certain point, like, the side characters became just as funny as the number, as Halpert. Like, Lauren there just putting in work on that giant goblet of wine. Like, that's the kind of glass that could hold, like, an entire bottle of wine. Or probably grape juice. But if that was wine, she probably drank a half bottle in between the one that she was in and then this finale, which is fantastic. Lauren is is so funny. And then Joey, obviously. It was it was tough, though, seeing Joey in the first one and then not again until the end. 
Because once I saw him there as the agent, I'm like, oh, I need more of him. I need so much more of him. And then I had to wait eight more episodes for him to come back. <laughs> um, I, you know, I guess part of me wishes that Jeff was in this, but I don't know whose part he would have taken because everybody played their role so well. Whether it be the co-star from Fifty Shades of Grey, or Dylan, who played Thor in Avengers the Musical, or Joey as the sleazeball, or Nick Lang as the like the comic book super fan. Like they were all so perfect and so well done. Man, this was just an absolute treat to watch. Thank you guys so much for once once you saw how much I fucking loved Susan from Spies Are Forever. Thank you for letting me know that this exists and that I should watch it because I absolutely should have because it was fantastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for following along with me on this journey. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And yeah, I will see you in another reaction very soon.